So if we look at the lizard, it's probably one of the most difficult objects to paint in the still life. And the reason for that is you have lots of light colors, dots of yellow and light red and orange and white on top of quite a dark background. So if we painted the background this dark blue color and then tried to use watercolor to put dots of these lighter colors on top, you can't paint watercolor over dark watercolor because it just will show through. So there's a number of ways to practice and to think which will work best for you. So one way, of course, would be to mix up your color. So for example, if I take this yellow line there and I paint that yellow, you'll notice I'm not painting dots. And then we take this section there, which is light blue. Better clean my white a little bit. Oh, perfect for to do for now. So we've got this very light color blue dots there. So that's our light color. And now instead of painting, the individual dots we have to paint around the lighter color to make it appear like there is dots so now we're going to make up our very dark blue you need a brush in almost perfect condition to be able to do that so this is our dark blue color if you look at the point on our brush it goes to a very good point and then we are going to try to give the impression of the dots of yellow by painting around to give the impression that these dots are painted on a dark blue background so when it comes to this area if i do a small section Again, taking the idea of these lighter blue dots, going around them, which then gives the idea that they are painted on a dark blue background. See how low I'm holding the brush to try and get the impression of these lighter dots on the background, just filling in the gaps which I've missed. Then you've got the impression that these lighter blue dots have been painted on top. The other way to do it is if we look at this area here. For example, I painted this all very dark. Let's start off with. Now, when we leave that to dry, 
you know that if you try to paint some white watercolor on top, it's not going to work. That's not going to be successful. But what you can do is you can have some white acrylic paint or some yellow acrylic paint. And you can use that. Now acrylic paint dries permanent, so it dries waterproof. So if you spilt water on it, for example, it wouldn't smudge. And the colours below aren't going to show through. So if I just take some white acrylic on the tip of my brush and I do these tiny dots of for the lizard. One or two more on. So that's one of the dots. Now I'm going to do the yellow. So instead of just using yellow on its own, I'm going to take some of that yellow and mix a little bit of white with it. Again, if you do add water to the acrylic, you add in the tiniest amount. And now I'm going to do some of the yellow dots. etc. Then if I want to do some of these lighter blue dots, sometimes you can combine acrylic with watercolour. So I'm going to take some blue watercolour, mix some white with it, maybe a little bit more blue. Twist my brush to a point and then carry on trying to paint these lighter dots. But the colour below isn't showing through because I've got some acrylic mixed with it. There are a couple of ways for you to think about of creating that effect with watercolour and with acrylic. Finally, if you leave your acrylic on your brush for too long and it dries out, there's no way then of washing your brush. You have to throw your brush away and buy a new brush. Acrylic dries permanent. Acrylic paint is used, for example, for murals on a wall outside so that when it rains, the paint is going to be in perfect condition still.